What's going on Titans fans? Welcome back into the channel. This is the first ever film breakdown we've ever done on this channel, so um, it's definitely not going to be perfect, but if you like what you see, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe down below. Feel free to drop any suggestions you have down there, but basically what I've been doing here lately is watching a lot of Cincinnati Bengals tape just to get a little better insight into what Callahan and Scheme might be. Obviously, Zach Taylor was calling the plays there, but they, they worked in unison there. Um, obviously, um, Jake Browning had to be their quarterback a lot last season with Joe Burrow suffering those injuries, as we all know. But Jake Browning is a more similar quarterback to Will Levis than Will Levis is to Joe Burrow. It doesn't mean that they don't have the, the same upside. Levis might have more upside than Joe Burrow, but Burrow is very hyper accurate, doesn't have the strongest arm. Um, Will Levis, opposite of that. He, he's got a, a cannon on the shoulder. So basically, we're going to start here at the Minnesota Vikings game. We've got just a basic cover two here. Um, and this is what Will Levis wants to do. He wants to take this deep shot here. So we have Charlie Jones here in the slot here at the bottom of the screen. He's going to threaten vertically um, after he, he kicks it inside. And he's getting right down the middle of the field, right between the hash marks. We have this dig on the front side as well. So we've got those threats. And he just blows by him and Browning is just unfortunately just a little bit long in that. But this this is six with Levis every time, in my opinion. And this is something that he does very well. So he's going to put a little bit more air under that. But he also has the ability to throw that on the rope as well. Um, but next, we're going to go into a cover two invert. So very similar similar coverage except these corners are taking over those deep halves and this linebacker and safe or safety is going to roll with this post we have set up here in the middle of the field they're going to take that away but we're going to roll here to the left bringing charlie jones who's at the bottom uh in the slot he's going to kick out that end right there and Browning is able to do a really good job just finding the hole right there with the tight end. And that's just easy pitch and catch. And that's just an easy first down 10 out of 10 times. And he just, you know, we see Charlie Jones kick in. Just quick little roll out to the left. Get Will Levitz on the move. We like that. And then we're going to move into a trip set here. Just a simple dagger concept. And I love this with the over coming from the slot at the bottom as well with uh, the tight end. And this is probably Will Levis's best throw is the dig route, in my opinion. And this is, they're behind the chains here. I think this is third and long, second and long. I think they may have taken a sack here on first down. But uh, we also have this drag route at the bottom of the screen that he can check it down here if you needed to. But this dig comes wide open, as you guys will be able to see. And... We're going to see a lot of this. We see the tight end in the backfield here is the, the blocker as well. He kind of sleeks out, so he could take that if he wanted. But that's just easy, easy pitch and catch there. Love to see that there. Just um, like that. Here we go. Great pocket presence by Browning there as well. All right, so we've got bunch formation here. And we'll talk a lot about bunch in this film that I've noticed, but we've got the, the, the two digs there at the bottom with the curl. But we look at this, we've got a big tight end on a corner up there at the top of the screen. And we, we love that matchup. So really what bunch can do for you is you can get those numbers to that side, but at the same time, you can isolate a player as well and you've got the playmaker out there if you see this is uh josh wiley out there on a small corner this might be a great play for that or deandre hopkins great great body control and that's that's an easy first down and i think that actually might be their their look rookie from last season uh, not the tight end but andre i can't pronounce his last name but that's that's an easy pitch and catch there and you like that matchup great protection good catch get out of bounds we're in the red zone so here again we're going to see the bunch and as you can see we've got the the two corners there at the top of the screen and we have this linebacker threatening on the edge that he's gonna blitz he actually is gonna blitz here which leaves it three on two and the titan's just gonna leak out here to the left and sit down into that zone and Browning identifies that blitz immediately. And we'll take that. I mean, 
he unfortunately drops the ball there and i don't think i don't think they called this a, a fumble if i remember correctly but this is great diagnosis and great play by the quarterback the receiver just can't come away with it and then next here we're actually gonna this is what i want to see a lot with the titans this season is getting these receivers on the move pre-snap and just motioning into it so we're actually motioning into the bunch here and he's gonna threaten to the flat and will levis he has the ability to maybe make all four of these rece uh, receivers open here um browning i think makes the correct decision here we've got this corner coming out and uh we're gonna go for six here but we have these these three sit down we threaten deep and he just beats his man one-on-one -on -one. so i think there wasn't an incorrect decision here but you're always going to be more happy with a touchdown than the first down. So this is a great play by Browning. He, he puts a great touch on that ball too. Great timing. All right, here again, we're motioning into that bunch formation. But uh, this time, we do take that underneath route with uh, Jamar Chase here. So we're going to see that linebacker, or this uh, tight end motion across the field looks like man here but uh we actually see more zone here on the play side where they actually throw the ball but that linebacker does come out in man coverage real hot and fast so that's a great job by brown and just identifying that open man there and get your ball to your playmakers jamar chase i mean one of the best wide receivers in the game if not the best he's able to get up to a little bit so definitely like that there here we see the first um, identification of some bunch out to the perimeter, and they do have the three defenders out there covering them. And you'll see they're, they're kind of laid out there in layers. That's so they don't get mixed up in traffic, which can happen a lot with the bunch. But uh, we got the tight end in line. And I mean, if, if, if you see this, this is all, almost automatic that you're just gonna kick it inside. And we're gonna see a lot of uh, Pollard and Spears this season. We know that, but this is just easy. You can call that audible if you need to. And we're gonna have that uh, right tackle kick out that nose tackle there. And let's just get up filled. And ultimately the safety, I think on that, from that trips formation is actually the one that ends up getting the gang tackle 15 yards downfield. Almost gets down to the 10, so yeah. Great, great play. Got to be able to be multiple in our schemes here. And then if they don't bring out that third defender out there, I mean, this is, uh, they ultimately are bringing these two edge defenders out here on a blitz, which almost makes this a huge play for the offense. But we can almost audible into this every time. And we're just going to throw it out there to our playmakers, let them get upfield. I mean, this, this is close to going for a touchdown here. Ultimately, they just get the first down, but we'll take that every time as well. Don't mind that at all. Here again, let's watch this one more time. You see these two edge defend or these defenders blitz in. He's almost able to bat it. So I mean it could have he could have made that play, but it's close. All right, and here this is what Will Levis just needs to improve on. And it's just taking the easy throw. We've got zone here in the back end and nobody is open and it's just you have to be fine just taking this simple flat route and letting your playmakers do what they do best and just get up filled. I mean he's wide open so it's hard not to check it down to him but uh, that's something Will Levis just needs to improve on a lot and you don't have to play hero ball every single play. Good ball. Get up filled. All right, here we, we want to see that we, we want to get Calvin Ridley on the move. And what we'll see is they're going to motion this receiver across the back end for this inside zone. But just watch these defenders and how they reset pre snap with this motion, just kind of opening it up for, I believe this is Joe Mixon here. Might be Chase Brown, kind of hard to tell. I 
actually think that might be Tavion Williams. But he gets upfield, makes a million miss. Easy, easy run. Titans are going to be more efficient rushing the football this season. I think they've been uh, in comparison to last season with Derrick Henry. We aren't going to do it as much, but we're, when we do utilize the run game, it's going to be a lot more efficient. And then this is what I'm really excited about. Titans fans obviously are not going to be foreign to the screen game just because our offensive line has been so bad for the last several years. We've had to, to slow down pass rushers, but the Bengals did it at such a high level. There's so many more clips I could have thrown in here that they're just going to kick out, dump it down here to the running back, Joe Mixon, and he gets upfield. And there's several other one of these I didn't chop out where they went even longer. Um, I think in the Vikings game, Chase Brown and Mixon both had huge screens that either went to the house or dang well were very close. Look at the blocking downfield. You know, big coach Bill Callahan is going to have these linemen ready for this game. And then here we're getting red zone action. Again, we're, we're motioning into this bunch formation. we got it tight here and we're going to threaten with this drag and over route. And the tight end does a great job of waiting for that to clear out and then threatening to the outside, kicking vertical and then kicking back inside, just making that space for the easy catch. What he does after the catch, that's what you're looking for in the end zone. The tight ends are going to get utilized in this this offense. I, I think it's been overstated a lot by the media, but Chigakonkwo, Josh Wiley are definitely going to see the field. The Bengals utilized a lot of uh, tight ends in the backfield that I noticed, um, and I think we're going to see a little bit of that. I, I mean, Chigakonkwo, I mean, he's built like a running back, huge running back at times, and he's hard to bring down, but that just allows them to have maybe a better pass protector at times when it's third and long or it's in passing situations. I, I'm not going to be surprised, but obviously Tony Pollard and Tajay Spears are much better receiving options in comparison to Joe Mixon and Chase Brown. Um, but here, this is the last play that I'm going to show you. And if you guys are fans of the, or follow me on Twitter slash X at Glory Day Sports, if you aren't, I, I recommend you do. You've already seen this play. And I love the mesh concept. Ever since being an Oklahoma fan, watching Lincoln Riley bring this, this concept in, um, he once said that the mesh will be open 98 times out of 100. This is one of those two where it's not, in my opinion. And we're really just reading this top of the screen, uh, this, this circle defender, this linebacker. He ultimately takes the tight end here and kind of gets washed into this mesh. But what that does is this, this play side backer at the, the, just below him, that puts him on Joe Mixon one-on-one. -on -one. This is man coverage. And just based on positioning, this is easy, easy money every time as we'll see here and we, we can see this concept we've got this this post here to kind of clear this out even more but that just puts him in a bind and maybe maybe you can dump that off to jamar chase if you wait a half second longer but this is easy but you catch you're taking that every time let him him make a man miss let him utilize that speed to the outside and you just love that matchup we see it's man with the motion Easy play and catch. But that's going to do it for me today, guys. If you enjoyed the content, make sure you like, comment, subscribe down below, and we will check.